Hey everyone, good morning. Today's project, we've got a tow behind sprayer that uses alligator clips on the tractor battery. What I wanna do is attach a two pin connector instead. So quite often these tow behind sprayers have a wire running off of them and you can connect it to your John Deere or whatever brand tractor using these alligator clips. It works fine, it gets the job done, but I already have this two pin connector because I'm using a battery tender to keep the battery charged all the time. So it's every time I'm not using it, I plug it back in. So what I'd like to do is snip this off and I bought a harness and we're gonna do some soldering. This is in the towing section at the local Menards. You can get this at an automotive store or something similar anyway. And that's what you'll wanna use for this project. All right, so what I've got here is a two pin automotive connector and it's, you know, a little harness. I'm gonna snip this in half. We're gonna strip the wires, solder it. And I can see here I've got positive on this side like that right here is a plus so the positive wire will go to this and when I snip this off we'll connect it to the alligator clip here uh, we're just going to cut this pretty much right down the middle here we'll strip these wires And this is not really a big deal as far as exact length of what you need stripped and what we're doing. I'm going to take these alligator clips that come for the comes on the wire to the sprayer. We're going to snip that off. Eh, we don't need much there either, so we'll leave a little bit there. And what I'm going to do is connect the other end. To this so that we can still use alligator clips if we were using a tractor that didn't have one of these on it again you never know where it's going to end up so got to kind of make it universal here we're going to snip these apart strip these off should work I'm gonna twist that up a little bit twist these ends a little bit and we're just gonna do a quick and dirty job of soldering but we're gonna use some marine heat shrink tubing So just a pretty standard pair of wire strippers here. Nothing fancy at all. You could use a knife. It'd probably make it work just fine. Pretty crappy pair of wire strippers anyway okay we got all our ends stripped I like to use marine heat shrink tubing for anything that's going to be outdoors this heat shrink tubing has um, a, you know, I don't know a gel inside uh, when it heats up it melts around the connection and around the edge it comes out the edges of the tubing and creates a watertight seal so i'm going to use that instead of just traditional heat shrink tubing so in an effort to keep this stuff from moving around i, was, I grabbed a little brick to put this on i'm gonna put the heat shrink tubing on nice and far away from where i'm soldering it so it doesn't melt prematurely 
All right, as far as solder goes, just got some stuff off of Amazon, but basically some rosin core solder, nice thin stuff that we can work with on these wires. Doesn't take long for this to hot, get hot. What we're gonna do first is tin the wires. That means we're gonna get some of the solder melted onto and into the wires. Can heat up the wire and then get the solder to flow. Okay. And what we want to check is that we got all the way around. And this one's a little iffy, so we'll add a little bit more here on the underside. Okay, now we want to do the same to this end here, so if we can keep that from moving too badly, let's see here, okay. Now that I'm thinking about it, what I think I'm going to check here. Let's make sure that that heat shrink tubing will fit over this larger wire. That would be a shame for it to not fit. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Here's where the real trick comes. Okay, we're going to use this brick to hold these wires. It'll definitely be easier if you can get the wires, at least two of them, to hold still. So, um... When you connect them okay I'm gonna heat these all up real good let that solder flow blow on it a little so that it cools back together and boom looks like we got a good solder joint there I'm going to add a little bit extra solder onto this wire. Okay. Ready? We're going to do this other one. Okay. So now, I'm going to put the heat shrink tubing over that. Put the heat shrink tubing over to that. And you can use the soldering iron to then melt it together, but really the best thing is to use a lighter. Many times I've used the soldering iron itself, but the lighter is really the better choice. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the gooey stuff come out of the end here when it melts inside and shrinks to back down on the wire but the beauty of this whole thing is going to be the fact that it's now going to be watertight i'm never going to be using this out in the water but you never know and it's better to be safe than sorry so now let's see if it works Okay, so minor problem. I blew the fuse, probably making the connection. No problem. Replace that. Pump sprayer works. Goes through the switch. Connects right here. And done. So now, what I'd like to do is also connect these old alligator clips to the other end of this thing so that if I need to, I can connect that directly to a battery using the alligator clips and it'll still work. So let's take care of that next. Okay. So we're going to tin these. All right. Where were we? We're going to tin these wires 
just like we did the others want to get plenty of solder now you always want to heat up the wire itself I made a video on soldering so if you're not sure how to do it you can check that out it might give you a little more detail about it but um, I definitely heat up the wires and not just melt the solder onto the soldering gun or iron or whatever all right get a little bit extra on there now we also need to the wires that go to the alligator clips so no problem let's do that yeah kind of in my own way here okay Start with the negative here. Gonna heat that up. Try to heat them both up at the same time. Come on now. Oh boy. Operating here. I'm gonna lay this across there to try to hold that down. Okay, made a little bit of a mess on that one, but that's all right. Now we'll heat these up real good. The trick to soldering is to get the wires hot so you don't have a cold solder joint. And then let it cool, I'll say naturally. Um, you don't want to spray water on it or nothing, it makes it brittle. Then your solder joint is brittle. So, that looks like that held. Okay, I'm going to give these a little tug. And they're on, so that's good. Take our shrink tubing. Slide that over the joint. Okay. Use our lighter. Hopefully with no wind. Come on now. As soon as I light this lighter, the wind picks up, I swear. You got a little torch or something it might be a little better than just a lighter but usually the lighter will get it done okay there we go that looks together to me so now just for fun let's connect these alligator clips and make sure it still works using those. Ready? Yep. Works just fine. All right, fantastic. So that's how you attach a two pin connector to your wires for your pump sprayer for your towing behind your lawn and garden tractor. Um, Hopefully that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.